And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIP SoundLab.com. Back on the Native Instruments Machine MK3 with the 2.7.3 update, which added uh, the ability to enable and disable audio plugin playback per pattern uh, when in loop mode. Uh, double clicking the waveform will also toggle playback for selected patterns. Also, the loops can be enabled or disabled via the step page on the hardware controller. They also added a loop recording mode uh, to the recording tab. And the recording tab is now available for both sampler and audio plugins. So when choosing the new loop mode, the start of the recording will be quantized to the start of the pattern. And I think that's what I want to show that feature there. Um, also, uh, when the recording is complete, the loop will automatically be loaded into an audio plugin and will begin immediate playback. So that's kind of dope. So in other words, it's just, you know, you record and it automatically quantizes it to the first bar and it plays back. So, you know, that, that's dope. Nice little feature probably for, you know, MCs and rappers and singers and things like that. And then they have other improvements such as uh, event editing using the four directional encoder, you know, select nudge pitch shift and uh, changing the length of the notes uh, with the four directional encoder. That's something that we also covered. Basically, we, we pretty much covered all this stuff. It's just some new little workflows that they have in here. Um, other than they did add uh, DAW integration with the MK3 um, for Logic such as uh, the mixer, transport, rather the transport controls, uh, pans, mute, solos, undos, automation toggle, tap tempo, stuff like that, loop toggle, all that good stuff. So that's kind of dope. All right, so I have the camera positioned in a way to actually take a look at the arranger. And as you can see right here, we have the ideas tab now visible. Let me go ahead and zoom the camera in on that. And as you see right here, using the four direction encoder, you can navigate through your patterns like so. It's going to show that really quick on the camera. Then I need to zoom back out. So you can see the encoder, I me mean, scrolling through that. So I'm going to change this to an audio right quick. So I want to show this other feature where when you're in step, if you press a pad, you can toggle between the audios I'm doing here. As you see right here, here's an audio uh, loop. Okay, but the beats per minutes, it must have auto detected, so I have to manually implement that in. So, you know, tapping this, I can, you know, toggle between the audio on and audio off. Uh, I'm going to grab a new sound here. Go to sampler. We'll select a mono source. And you have a monitor here. I'm not going to turn it on because I don't want any feedback. But as you can see right here, um, press start to record your input source. You guys are pretty much familiar with this, how it goes. I'm going to put it on loop. Length of bar, I'm going to put free. I like this here. Now I'll just do. I'll put two bars. We'll sync it like that. Um, yeah, we'll just do it like this right here. Let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to start recording as soon as I press play, okay? Boom, bap, head, crack. One time, head, nodding. Boom, bap, head, crack. Now you see right there, this is just me just bugging out. I'm not trying to, you know, rap or anything like that. But it's just like, boom, bap, head, crack. One time, head nodding. You know, just saying something on the mic, just bugging out. So um, when I switch back over here, you see how that's automatically quantized in there? And it's under loop mode. So again, with step, I can kill that audio. Boom, bap, head, crack. One time, head nodding. Head nodding.
I'm saying? So I just want to show that right quick. So again, I'm not going to go too long in this video. Again, there's other editing features and things of that nature, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll go in, in depth in other videos and cover some of the other features. I just wanted to run through this right quick. And again, you know, just show you that, you know, you can change your patterns on the fly using uh, the four direction encoder. Now, from what I hear, this is also inside the studio as well. Um, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure on that because I haven't even turned that joint on yet. So that's some more research I'm going to have to do. Man, that's pretty much it. Your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Just running through some basics. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.